And now let's talk about memory circuits. They are a way that you can store information using redstone. They do this by taking pulse inputs such as buttons and turning them into solid outputs such as levers. They can also be used to count the number of activations and thus used to store data. Really, this is just a way to classify what redstone is doing. So your set input will turn the machine on, a reset input will turn the machine off, a toggle input will turn the machine on or off, and the data and clock is typically used together to store more complex data. Now you may be familiar with a T-flop. A T-flop has a T input, meaning toggle, because it can turn the machine on and off. And since it has one input and two outputs, it resembles a T-shape. Whereas an SR latch has two inputs, a set and a reset. One button will set the machine to on, and the other button will reset the machine to off. And you can split the output into an inverse section. So one button will set the machine to on, and the other button will reset the machine to off, but will give you a confirmation output, saying, yes, I am off. 